To all you investors, get this in your head. Debt sucks. And in today's video, I'm going to be explaining why. Debt is when you owe someone something. In this case, we are talking about financial debt. Financial debt means you have no money and you are borrowing from other people. There are some things that debt can do to you that are really, really bad because of how debt is set up. Let me explain in a real world scenario. The, the iPad that I'm recording this video with, I'm in debt with my parents, $240, meaning I have negative $200 to my name. So I have no money and I actually owe my mom and dad money for this iPad. In the case of this example, I don't have to pay any interest, which I'll get to in a minute. But how I feel with owing my parents $250 is it sucks. Let me tell you why. Every time I get money, every time I earn money, I work hard, I don't actually get any money. The money immediately goes from my bank account to my parents' account meaning I see none of it. I see no I I see no money for my labor. I see no money or and I see no results for how hard I'm working. I it basically feels like I am working for no reason. And this mentally sucks. I go mow the lawn for 2 hours and I get nothing in return. I go and I babysit and I get nothing in return. This is what debt can do to you. It mentally is draining and it really really can discourage people to not want to work anymore or it makes it feel like working is absolutely useless and it can kill anyone's um it can kill anyone's desire to work so here's another thing with debt in this situation i don't have to pay any interest but in a real world situation let's talk about interest with debt let's say i borrow 100 dollars, and the interest rate that I have to pay is 10%, okay? Interest means whatever you borrow in a certain amount of time, you have to pay back. So let's say I have to pay interest every month on my $100. Every month, the person I owe is going to ask for 10 extra dollars because it's 10% of $100. So they are going to ask me for 10 extra dollars. So even though I only borrowed $100, Let's say I don't pay off this debt for five months because I can only make $20 a month. I borrowed $100, but I actually paid $150 to borrow $100, which is really stupid because you're paying more money for the money you borrowed. Why would you ever do that? Well, sometimes you don't have the opportunity to not pay debt. Sometimes you have to go into debt to get what you need right away. A lot of people go into debt for their house, their car, and also bills, paying bills. Those are the three main reasons people go into debt. But the issue with this is that everybody's working so hard and seeing no results for their work. You're getting all your money taken away right away. And if you don't stay on top of your debt, it can get a lot worse. Let's say I borrow $100 and I don't pay it off for two years, which is 24 months. You get the point. 24 times 10 is 240. I borrowed $100, but I ended up needing to pay $340 in debt. That is not, that is not good for anybody. Mentally, you feel like you're getting dragged down. And financially, you're looking at your accounts and you see nothing no results and debt it's like one of the main enemies to an investor or to your finances you want to stay out of debt i've only been in debt twice in my life and every time i've been in debt and i've only been in debt to my parents who do not charge me any interest so they don't charge me any penalty for borrowing money i in those two scenarios where i've been in debt it sucks so bad because I know I can't buy anything and I don't have any free money. So if you have to sacrifice a little bit to not be in debt, it is so worth it. Because being in debt, you have so much on your plate. And I get this. A lot of people have debt. Like 90% of Americans are in debt right now. It's okay if you're in debt. But if you are in debt, pay it off. Work on paying it off. 
focus on that so that you don't have that expense weighing you down. I don't want people to not be able to see results because of debt. My rule that I have been working on my entire life is to never be in debt again. I don't want to be in debt. When I buy my first car, I'm buying it straight up with cash. And I don't want to owe anything to anybody. This is a saying I heard. Debt is the money of slaves. Silver is the money of nobles. And gold is the money of kings. Debt is the money of slaves because you're working so hard for no results. You're not getting anything and you're just endlessly working. Debt is like a hamster wheel. You keep running, but it, the money keeps accumulating and getting harder. So you're just running in a circle. You have to get out of debt, anybody who's watching this video. I don't care what it takes you to get out of debt. Maybe you don't have a car for an extra six months because you're borrowing, um, you're getting rides with people, like people you know. Like in my case, I'd be getting rides with my friends and I would help them pay for gas money instead of needing to borrow money on a car. I know that you guys can do this and I know that everybody can do this. I can do this, you can do this. Every person can get out of debt. This is your first step to being financially free is having no debt. If you have no debt and your cars and your house are paid off, all the money that you would be spending to pay the person who you borrowed from, it's going into your personal account. You can invest that extra money. You can go on vacation with that extra money. You can serve people with that extra money. You have all this extra money to enjoy and live your life. This is why this world is in a hamster wheel. We're all stuck in a rat race to become financially free. But the biggest reason nobody's financially free is because of the massive amounts of debt we are all in. Debt is not worth it. Just to get something fast without working hard is not worth it. If you get if you take the fast track, which is the shortcut, you will have problems down the line. The shortcut might get you to buying your car way faster. But then in the future, you can't buy what you want because you have to take the long route later on. It's like taking a shortcut and then you need to loop all the way back and go backwards in addition to the shortcut you took. So your shortcut goes here and then you're going way back here plus a little extra. Shortcuts do not work, guys. They never have, and I don't think they ever will. We don't take shortcuts. We work hard. I think that's the big lesson you should take away from this video. And if you working hard just means chipping at that debt, little by little, it's better to be working hard and chipping at that debt than letting that debt accumulate. Accumulate. Boom, I said it right. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to talk about in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and share this video with all your friends if you are new, because I am here to tell you guys all of my advice and tips on stocks and finances. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a 14-year-old boy who has been investing since I was eight. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and this is where I disappear.